Okay, welcome to 10 ways to find a new job quickly as a topic. What a way, I mean, let's see and closely look at what are the ways, what could be the possible ways which land up job quickly as soon as you graduate and when you need the job the most. Let's begin. The first thing is be strategic when searching for a job online. Don't prioritize speed over all other consideration. It may be tempting to fire off as many applications as possible, but you will land a role faster with a strategic approach and not a random approach. Dedicate some time to considering that you are looking for and be realistic with your ambition. Aim high, but not out of the reach. Research companies and job roles in your chosen field. Linden is very helpful for this. So be on Linden much before beginning the hunt for your dream job. And use this information to tailor your search. Make sure to sign up to alerts on job boards for both companies and roles as well as broader job fields. Number two, go beyond the usual online job sites and big recruiters. Once you have registered details and made inquiries with recruiters and more generic job websites, think more specifically about your job field or position. Do they have industry specific forums or publication with job boards? Websites like Nokri.com or Monster.com and sectors like the NHS have their own job boards, as do magazines. Many independent recruiters send out job alert emails that can be worth signing up to as well. Linden is a key recruiting platform. Also consider Facebook, Twitter as the group that you might choose to apply in or apply with. Follow your target companies on their social media platforms as they often post about new opportunities. Don't forget to also use your network of friends and family. Remember, referral is still the eighth wonder of the universe. Lots of companies offer staff referral incentives. So don't be shy of letting people know you are looking for a new role. Number three. Consider other locations and part-time work. When looking for work, think about where potential opportunities might be suited. Could another location fit in? Are you able to be flexible about taking on part-time, evening or weekend work to gain experience or add to the money you earn each week? Just be open for it. Number four, take a proper look at your skill set. Very, very important. It's hard to identify exactly what skills you have or don't have. But when searching for a job quickly, it helps to analyze where your strengths and weaknesses are. Everyone has areas that need work. Use this analysis in two ways to identify where your skills can add value to the companies to identify any weaknesses or gaps and address these with online training, volunteer work or job shadowing to gain experience and enhance your CV. Also knowing your weaknesses and how to reframe them as positives is key interview preparation that you should spend time on. Number fifth, spend more time on fewer applications. You might think a guide to how to find a job quickly would suggest as many applications as possible, but you are more likely to find success with targeted and considered applications than a scattergun approach. Organize yourself so that you are clear about the order in which you should be completing applications and which ones take priority. Don't miss the application deadlines and also don't wait until the last day to apply. Many companies will interview candidates as they receive the applications and close the process once they have filled the role. A spreadsheet or list of companies, roles, recruiting manager 
and the deadline or the requirements will help you decide which to apply for first and then serves as a guide for interview preparation once they have received your application number 6 make sure your cv is ready from an employer's perspective online applications will require you to upload your cv so writing a cv can be a daunting task but spending time on it is also essential look at our guide and consider how you can sell your skills for the job you are applying for ask a friend to look over your draft cv to pick up any mistakes and also to feedback on how re- relevant your experience for the specific role in question is and what evidence you have included to back that up don't just say you are good at selling demonstrate that with examples include numbers if you can remember you don't need to include every job you have ever done just the ones that are relevant likewise you are not restricted to including only paid work include relevant internships projects and voluntary work a cv should be a constant work in progress being amended adapted and updated to suit each application individually it is never a finished document seventh tailor your covering letter to the job role a cut and paste is not going to be enough the covering note will be the first thing that the recruiter or employer sees and they will be experienced at weeding out those applying without consideration look at how many characters or words you have maximize your impact with positivity and genuine interest in the company you are applying to back up your claims with examples that steer the reader into wanting to find out more about you number 8 maximize your social media channels employers and recruiters look at social media profiles make sure your profile photos and privacy settings are appropriate and consider what you are putting in the public domain using social media platforms can be a way to demonstrate interest and skill which will be relevant for say for some roles whatever your application following the companies that you are interested in working for and engaging with their content can set you apart from the other candidates make sure that you have a linkedin presence and follow key groups in your chosen field including industry magazines only add appropriate contacts that you know recruiters often make approaches on linkedin so if you are out of work and looking for a new role make that clear on your profile check your linkedin messages regularly Number 9 think about the details there are so many things to keep in mind when job searching create a checklist of things to remember include or do for each application and interview including a copy of your application names of relevant people as well as details and timings of interviews research the people conducting the interview read any publications or content that they or the company have linked to on social media recently look at any press coverage related to the field or sector and prepare questions in advance to ask in the interview you don't have to ask them all but it helps to think ahead rehearse out loud your answers to key questions such as describing yourself and your ambitions so that you can talk without lots of pauses rehearse practice think about body language and tone of voice so that you project a confident version of yourself practice speaking without fiddling with your hair cuffs or accessories number 10 and the last one approach things differently earning money quickly could also involve setting up your own project or business 
instead of applying for traditional roles consider embracing your entrepreneurial spirit or identifying skills which you have that business might need but not be actively recruiting for joining network group or networking groups and setting up meetings with relevant companies could lead to freelance work project work or even a full time role in due course keep open minded about what successful work looks like some jobs with anti social hours can pay more leaving you time to be with children or fulfill other caring responsibilities consider joining a temping agency a permanent opportunities often come up through temping without being advertised you will have to balance this with the knowledge that many temporary jobs are low paid and involve repetitive office work even this kind of exposure to a variety of offices will teach you valuable skills and can help you narrow down what type of work you are seeking you may also wish to consider internships or voluntary work to gain experience or make contacts in your desired industry if you choose this avenue make sure you know your basic employment rights final thought as well as the tips above consider this also to keep going at times job searching can feel insurmountable continue searching and applying for roles even when you are waiting to hear back from other applications think of your working hours starting now not when you actually start paid work to learn from and forgive yourself for past mistakes if you missed an application deadline or made a grammatical error on a document implement a better system of checks for the next application once you have had an interview reflect on what went well and what you could work on for the next one so best wishes thank you